troubleshooting the car. So I threw this car together, um, and I made it, let's say, not awesome in ways so that we can talk about the ways that your car needs to be better. Um, so let's look at this. Looks pretty, looks pretty fast. Yeah. But the wheels don't turn. Um, so that's one thing you have to think about when you're going downhill. If you're not, ma even if it does go down, um, if it's not making the times that it needs, what kind of friction is here in the wheels? You can't probably hear that, but it's making a loud noise and it's really hard to turn these wheels. So maybe that means the straws I'm using, one for my axle and um, one for kind of attaching to the chassis, are too close in size maybe. Maybe they need this one, the inside straw, the axle straw needs to be smaller. I don't know. Um, or maybe I just need to get some lubrication in there. Um, you need to think about friction. That's the key thing. And there's going to be some kind of friction between what's spinning and what's not. And that's going to be the major force of drag um, on your car because it's not going fast enough to get drag from the air. Although that would be cool. <laughs> um, you need to think about where the friction is. Um, the other thing that's going to affect how fast it goes is how straight it is. I don't know if you can see, but my straws are crooked. By the way, no celebrity endorsement implied. Um, <laughs> they're crooked. And um, that's going to make it not go straight. Now that might not affect your time if it's only a little crooked, but if it starts at one end of the ramp and comes down way at the other end, that might add some crucial time that you need to get your time down. So you need to think about, how can I make this straight? How can I make my wheels not wobbly? Now when my wheels got wobbly, I taped them, and that helped them not be wobbly. But there's still too much friction. I gotta fix that for next time. Anyway, um, these are some things to consider as you're trying to make your car fast enough so that it goes within 10 centimeters per second of what the ideal speed is. Uh, assuming frictionless uh, airless surface.